In addition to our survival spoon, we're going to create or make a survival fork. Yeah, a fork. I have not personally done this one, but if you can make a spoon, you can make a fork. And I'm going to learn with you guys today. I looked it up on uh, YouTube myself. Didn't see any videos on how to make like a wooden survival fork, so we're just going to do it as it comes. And if you've seen my survival spoon video, the tools that you'll need are the same ones in that video, but in case you didn't see it, I'll show it to you again. You're going to need a knife, and personally that knife is a little big, especially for doing the prongs on a fork, so I have another smaller knife, which I carry three knives in my bug out bag. So those two knives, of course, are in there. A chisel, or a curved knife, or I think they are also called maybe a banana knife of some sort. And a hatchet, good old hatchet. So, let's start. First thing you'll need is about a 6 to 8 inch piece of a branch. For this one I'm going to prefer softwood because we have to make those prongs. And that's going to be time consuming in itself. So, I'm going to use good old pine. Tree and Okay, I chopped my piece down. It cracked in half when I was chopping it because it had a natural crack in there, so I just have this half, which is part of the steps. You're going to have to split your piece of wood in half. And I went over this knife, and we're going to cut off all this bark. Get down to the wood so you can see the grain, see what you're working with. You're going to want to imagine it in your mind. I imagine this part having the fork and this being the shaft. So I'm just going to. I'm going to do this all with a knife because it's pine and it's easy enough to cut away as you guys can see. Cut out, just took it and uh, worked on it maybe no more than two minutes and it's looking like this. Okay, and so I decided I'm going to have either two or three prongs depending on how it works out. I have a pretty small area here. I would suggest if you're going to make a fork, make it about the size of the area in between your middle knuckle and your pinky and the end of your finger as a little judgment marker. So if I put it right about where my middle knuckle is, you can see I'm a little bit too small. And this size is good probably for about three prongs. Take it and really carve out in here. Just make sure you don't get it to split. Okay, well I got some bad news. I was trying to get it to scoop out of there and I got a little crack. Let me zoom in the camera real quick. There you go. I got a little bit of a crack right in there. But see, it's, it's going to crack all the way down, so at this early stage, I can still wrap a little piece of string around there. But I'm just going to work with it because I'm not planning to use it. Now we're going to take these two prongs and we're going to sharpen them up on the ends and those will be your two prongs that will be a basic fork. As you guys can see I have one side done, now it's just the other side and this goes really fast. Okay, we have our two prongs done and now it's just time to get it all smoothed out and ready you can to always go. bring this down more if you had more tools um, just trying to see if I have this is kind of a small knife so it just has the basic things on it but and it was kind of small like I said <clears throat> okay so now that we have our two prong done now we're gonna do a three prong this one I'm gonna use a different pocket knife which I'm gonna have to go up and grab and it's gonna it's a Cabela's knife and it has one of those small collapsible saws on there and I'll show you how to Great. do it. When I was um, cutting it, so I'll just go with it and keep splitting it right down the middle. Now that I split it in half, picked the side that I wanted. This one I picked a little bit bigger to my size, pinky. And just like in, in everything, 
It's going to be exactly the same up until the point where you create the prongs. So I'm going to do everything exactly the same. And once it gets time for the prongs, that will be when down I pretty nicely. And I have my blank on the end here. I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to get out the little saw handle. A lot of knives have these nowadays, little pocket knives. And I'm going to start just... Um, Three, so one, two, you know, use your imagination. And then just saw, uh, start to try to get it in there and, and see it started, just keep on going. If you're having a hard time holding it, put your hatchet um, in like the crease like we did in the spoon video and then lay over your piece of wood. I have to do it this way. And then you don't have to put pressure on it from one side. And slot stabler in there from the saw here, little cut marks. I can change it over to my real knife, and I can just start working just like before and getting them all nice and pointy. For the small areas, you can use a smaller knife to get in those little cracks. There we go. Cut it out, and then I just kind of worked around, getting these points pretty nice. It's hard when the wood is soft, but it's easier to carve and it's a little bit faster if you need it real quick. Here's the three-pronged one that we just made, and the first one that we made was the two-prong, simpler design. This is if you really don't have anything to use, you can just simply do this. Um, of course, the three prongs will give you a little bit better advantage over what you're eating but it's pretty cool good uh, good skills to have my name is Zach and I am representative of the Joe and Zach survival channel and today we learned how to make some forks thanks for watching